Are you ready for some great meal ideas? Well, come along with me while we go through this week's What's for Dinner. Great, easy, simple recipes for weeknight meals. Hello, family and friends. I'm Susan, and welcome to my home. And on this week's menu, we're going to have grilled chicken Caesar salad, taco pizza, chicken stir fry, and club sandwiches. And it's Monday night. And we're gonna have a quick, easy, simple Monday night meal. Some grilled chicken Caesar salad and some leftover squash casserole from yesterday. Both are so good and so quick. My ponytail is already up. Let's get to cooking. When I found this Caesar salad on sale this week at the grocery store, I figured out I could make a meal out of it. Just add a little bit more meat, which is what I'm gonna do. So I've got some chicken in the grill, and I'm gonna go ahead and use the chicken that's in this salad and add a little bit of extra lettuce and make a big Caesar salad with some grilled chicken for supper tonight. I went ahead and put the croutons in. I'm gonna go ahead and add the Parmesan that was in this little container right here. And the Caesar salad packet that came in it. Now let me go ahead and get this all mixed up. I've already got a helping of squash casserole on the plate. Now we're gonna put some of the Caesar salad on. some of the chicken. I'm going to go ahead and give Danny some of the chicken that went into the grill because I don't mind cold chicken on a salad. I know he doesn't like cold chicken on a salad. And there we go. Caesar salad, squash casserole. That's what's for supper Monday night. It's Tuesday night and it's time for Taco Tuesday. And tonight we're going to do a little taco, a little pizza, a lot of good. Tonight I'm gonna do a taco pizza. Should be interesting to say the least and should be really good. So let's get started doing the taco pizza, getting everything prepped. And my ponytail is already up. Let's get to cooking. And tonight I'm gonna make a taco pizza. Give you a little rundown of what basis I'm gonna use this. Yes, there's a recipe for it. Am I using it? No, not really. I'm gonna do it my way. So I'm gonna use the beef and bean taco skillet that I make all the time, and that is going to be the meat addition for the pizza. Uh, I'm gonna put in some onions, got some adobo, some rotel, some pinto beans, some Mexican cheese, and I need more. Look at that, that's all I got left, guys. Some taco seasoning. It called for paste picante sauce. I'll use it as long as it tastes good. And this is the uh, pizza crust, the thin and crispy. I figure it'd be more like a taco than anything else, but that's good. And then, of course, the one pound of hamburger meat I'm going to brown up. So let me get this going, get all this into the pan and get it frying up, and then we'll bring you back whenever I add everything and get everything going. Okay, I've got the hamburger meat all cooked up. I'm going to go ahead and add some onions to this. Out of my onion keeper, of course. I'm going to add some taco seasoning. And a little water. To let that spices all get good and dispersed throughout the meat and the onion mixture. I can add a little bit more onion. And I'm going to add some adobo. I usually do two runs around the side and this is looking really good all the water has kind of dissipated it's you've got all that spices in with that meat now it's time to add in the pinto beans i have drained the top but not rinsed them so i'm going to add those in and a can of rotel and this is danny's favorite way to prepare taco meat 
He kept asking for tacos one time, and he was like, I want tacos, I want tacos, and I made him regular tacos. He said, that's not the one I like. I like the one with the beans in it. I was like, well, you, this is what you like right here. So, I know he'll love this. Now I'm going to go ahead and cover this up for just a little bit. I've got the oven on 350 preheating. I need to go ahead and let this cook just a little bit and get everything nice and, and uh, dispersed amongst themselves. And then we'll start building the actual taco pizza. And let's get this pizza made. Put a little bit of this paste picante and I've got the medium one I want it kind of like the uh, spaghetti sauce on this taco pizza I'm trying to get it all the way to the edges as much as I can I don't want to get the crust too juicy I'll put some of this taco meat on there the good thing about this spoon is it drains it while it does it now I've got quite a bit of the taco meat on there. I'm going to go ahead and put a bunch of the Mexican cheese on top. Because of course I want a little bit of a cheese pull if at all possible. Alright, now I'm going to put this in the oven for 7 minutes. Let this cheese melt. It's at 350. And then we'll get it out and we'll have us some taco pizza. And here is the pizza. I'm going to go ahead and cut it before I put the rest of the toppings on. Just so. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of taco sauce. Because y'all know us. A little bit of red. A little bit of green. A little bit of sour cream. A little bit of lettuce. And Last but not least, the rest of the Mexican cheese. I've got to get more, guys. Y'all know. And here we go. Taco pizza. It's what's for supper. Tuesday night. And it's Wednesday night. And I'm going to be making a quick little chicken stir fry. I made it many times before. I do use quite a few ingredients. So if you want to use less, I'll tell you what to use and what not to use. But it is so good. A little rice on the side, and you have got yourself a quick meal. So, my ponytail is already up. Let's get to making some stir fry. And we're going to do a little bit of sweet and spicy chicken stir fry. Uh, I have got quite a few little ingredients. There's a bunch that you don't have to put in your stir fry if you don't want to. I do have the stir fry medley. I also have some French beans I like to put in there. Some minced garlic minced ginger, a little bit of coconut oil, liquid aminos or soy sauce. I've got some Szechuan spicy sauce, another one of the things you don't have to put in there. Stir fry sauce, which you definitely need to put in there. And some sweet chili sauce, which um, it makes it really good. You don't have to have it. You definitely have to have the soy sauce and the stir fry sauce for sure. I make it spicy with this. I make it sweet with that. And of course some chicken I'm going to defrost. So let's get going on getting everything started in the pan. And I'm going to go ahead and cut my green beans in half because I don't like them quite that big. So I basically just hold them in my hand and use a pair of kitchen shears and cut the green beans in half and go ahead and get those in. And I also open up the stir fry bag and get the snow peas out and I basically cut them in half because these are a little bit harder to cook also and take a little bit longer. And I'll go ahead and get these started. Go ahead and get these done real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of coconut oil into the wok. And let that be reducing down and heating up that is. And then I'll go ahead and get these beans 
stir fried real quick. And I have let this fry just a little bit. It's kind of loud. And now I'm going to add in the carrots and the broccoli. And let those cook down a little bit in with the rest of the vegetables. And I do cover it and just let it set. And I've got it on about a medium is where it's at. Probably for about five minutes. While that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and mix up the sauce that's going to go on this. One tablespoon of sweet chili sauce. One tablespoon of soy sauce or this was liquid aminos. Well, this is supposed to be four tablespoons of sweet chili sauce. Okay, I need three more tablespoons. Okay, here's the fourth tablespoon. And then of the soy sauce or the liquid aminos, I need two of those. So there's the second one of that. I need two tablespoons of stir fry sauce. teaspoons of Szechuan, which is spicy, two, one teaspoon of minced garlic, and then one tablespoon of minced ginger. Now I'm just going to mix this together. I'm going to go ahead and add the chicken in and let them brown up a little bit before I add the mixture in. I just want them to turn a little white on all four sides and then I'll actually add the sauce in. That's looking pretty good. And I'm going to cover it real quick and let it cook for about three to four minutes until all the chicken is white. And I've cooked the chicken until you see all of it is white on all the sides. And I poured the extra juice that was in the bottom of the container out. So now it's time to add the mixture that we had on. But first, well, let me go ahead and add it. I'm going to get as much of it in there as I can because whenever you put the vegetables in, they will take up a lot of that nice, sweet, succulent stuff here. I'm going to make sure that it's all nicely immersed, emerged in the juices. I'm going to go ahead and add in the vegetables. And I'm going to go ahead and put the rice into the microwave for 90 seconds while this is blending and mixing on up. All right. Let me cover this up. Let this cook for a minute. And let me get the rice into the microwave. I don't know if you can see how good that looks, but look at that. And I'm going to go ahead and get it plated up on some rice, and we'll be ready for supper. I just got some quick 90-second jasmine rice. Let me get some of this jasmine rice on the plate. Ooh, and it's hot. And let me go ahead and get some of this stir-fry on the plate. And here it is. Spicy sweet and spicy chicken stir fry and it is so good and it's what's for supper Wednesday night and it's Thursday night and tonight I'm gonna make just a simple sandwich well maybe a little bit more than just a simple sandwich I'm gonna make a club sandwich so good with some country ham on it so my ponytail is up let's get to cooking and let me show you everything we're gonna put on the club sandwiches tonight. I got some center cut country ham, some ham and turkey, which I'm going to use the turkey out of that. I've got some thick sliced bacon I'm going to put on it, some cheese, lettuce, bacon, ba basically one side is going to be a BLT, <laughs> some mayonnaise and the bread, of course. So let's get going. I'm going to put the ham in the frying pan and the bacon in the microwave and get everything started cooking. I've already got my bacon finished up. While that ham finishes up, I'm going to go ahead and put some mayonnaise on the bread. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get my 
bacon, lettuce, and tomato side going on. Bacon. Lettuce, some tomato, and then I'm going to put this that side down, put some more mayonnaise on this side, and get this nice and slathered, country ham. Two slices of turkey, a slice of cheese, and put the top on it. Now that is a big sandwich. I'm going to go ahead and cut it in the diagonal. Let's see if it's cut all the way through. It is. Look at that sandwich. Now that is a sandwich. Let me go ahead and give this to my husband to get going on because I know he is hungry. And that is the club sandwich for tonight. And that's what we're having for supper, Thursday night. I hope you've enjoyed this week's What's for Dinner. Four quick, easy meal ideas to make your weeknights go a whole lot smoother. If y'all have a meal idea that you'd like for me to try, please let me know. Just send me a message uh, either on Instagram or through YouTube and I will check the recipe out and see what I can do to get it put on the channel and I will give you uh, the credit for the recipe. Kind of like a subby supper. Please don't forget to come see us again next week and see what kind of great meal ideas we have. Lots of new things coming up in this month of February. So until next week, see you then. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Pinterest and ring that bell so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos.